As you guys know, Infinity 2.0 has actually been teased by Davey and it will be released very soon. Now here is my PSP Go. My PSP Go has firmware version 6.61 Infinity on here and I basically want to remove the Infinity and just get it back to 6.61 so it's ready for the new Infinity 2.0. Now you guys can follow along with this on a PSP 1000, 2000, 3000 and of course the PSP Go. I guess you can use this on the PSP Street but obviously that won't have infinity anyway and um, but if you want to downgrade that just to official 6.61 so you're ready you can follow along with that as well but what you guys want to do is you basically want to connect your PSP to your PC using USB connection recently I use set this PSP so it's got nothing on here so it's perfect for getting this set up so what we're going to do we're going to press X on this we then need to connect it to our computer but we need to connect it via USB so I've got my USB ready right here, so I'm just going to go and plug it in, and I will show you guys what we have to do. Now there is actually three files we will need to download on our computer, but first of all, I just want to show you guys the versions that Infinity 2.0 will actually work with. So as you can see here, we've got 6.60 ME and LME. I would not recommend using this. I used to have so many problems with LME on my PSP 1000 that I just switched to Pro C2 and it worked perfectly fine. If you guys want to use these, go ahead and look for them on the internet, but I'm just going to be using 6.61 Pro C2 because I know for sure that this is the best firmware you can get so what you guys want to do is go to the first link in the description and we're going to get the latest version of 6.61 pro c2 if you want to get 6.60 that is down here go for it but 6.61 is the latest and i always like to be on the latest firmware with my psps many people don't know there's actually a newer version of this which is the 1402 most people get the 22nd 01 but there's actually a later version in 2015 so what we're going to do we're going to click on this and we're just going to wait for it to download it actually brings us out to a google drive page we just want to click the download icon at the top here and then we're simply going to wait for it and it's going to download in a couple of seconds. And the next, what we want to do is go to the second link in the description. This is where we're going to grab the Chrono Switch downgrader. Version 7.0 is out. So we're going to click on the RAW file and we're going to go ahead and download this. You must have 7-zip or WinRAR to extract this one. Then we want to go to the next link. Now this link you want to be a bit careful on. This is Sony's official website, but for some reason Sony completely messed up the download for this. It used to have two downloads. It used to have a PSP Go download and a PSP 1000, 2000 and 3000 download. Now the PSP Go download actually got deleted, so I wouldn't really recommend using Sony's official website. If you guys want firmware for every PSP, go to this link and you want to grab the mega file. So we're also going to click download on this and we're just going to grab the mega zip file. Just just wait a few seconds, give it 15 seconds and this will download as well. And there you go guys, so once this has finished downloading, we can actually go into our downloads folder and we can find all of our new files. So here you go, we have got three zip files and all of our stuff is in here. So first of all, we need to get the official PSP firmware, right click and select extract here. Once that is done extracting, we actually want to press the delete key on the zip file. We don't need this anymore, it will just keep it more easy. So we're going to go into the file folder and you want to choose whatever PSP you have. I actually have the PSP Go, so I'm going to go in this one. You want to find the update folder with the update in. We're going to right click and we're going to go to cut. We're then going to go back to our download folder. We're going to right click and we're going to paste it and there you go we've got our update we can now delete this one next we need to select the chrono switch 7.0 right click it and select extract to chrono switch 7.0 and it's going to put it into its own folder and we actually want to delete this zip file as well then we're going to get the 6.61 pro folder right click it and just select extract here and that's going to extract it into our downloads and you actually want to delete this file as well now we're going to grab update and chrono switch and we're going to put this inside of psp you then want to go into psp we're going to select these two again and we're going to put them into the game folder and there you go guys hopefully that was easy to follow we should have all of our files in the game folder chrono switch cp cipl flasher we won't be using that in this video but it's always handy just to have we've got fast recovery pro update and update now we're going to go back to psp back to new folder whatever your downloads is select both of these and we're going to make sure our psp or psp go is plugged in and we're going to simply drag and drop them across now we've got to wait for this if it says any files need to be replaced make sure to go ahead and replace them i think mine should actually be okay so there you go it's all right now we're going to go back onto our psp let's get this set up and let's get my PSP on the original firmware. 
Alright guys, so we are back. If your screen is black, you can just press um, a button on the D-pad and it should be completely fine. We're going to press circle on this. You want to scroll over and you want to go to the game section. From here, you might not have custom firmware running, so we're just going to run pro update. Just pro update, not CIPL flasher, not fast recovery. Make sure to click on pro update and we're just going to go with the basic install. So just wait for this to load up. Shouldn't really take too long. Most people know um, if you use pro update, this is not perfect and it just you know if you restart your PSP it will be gone we're gonna press X to launch it press X to start you then get the smiley face and then we've just got to wait for it and once this is actually done restarting we should be able to load the chrono switch downgrader without any issues at all so we're then gonna look for it. it should be the first app I believe so go on system storage we've got the chrono switch downgrader we should also have our update down here press X to load up this one and then we can actually get our PSP downgraded so you've got to wait, it will actually find your PSP model and then it will say your PSP Go has to delete the resume game feature, that is okay, press X for yes, your PSP is running infinity, press X for yes, we'll attempt to downgrade, that is okay, I'm going to press X to continue, X one more time, now if you want to exit, press R straight away, we're going to press X and hopefully this is going to work. And here you go, if you got to this screen, congratulations, you did it right. If you get an error where you boot back to the normal screen, I would recommend trying 6.60, and if that doesn't work, um, maybe just try it again, or maybe try a factory restart first. But if you've got it good like me, press X on start. Uh, you've then just got to wait, oh, you accept these, so just do right on the D-pad. You do accept, that is fine, accept all the terms and conditions that no one reads. And then we've just got to wait for it. So it says installing. Um, if the power runs out, you can actually put it on charge. Um, but I think mine is going to be all right. So yeah, we're just going to wait for this. I'll pause the video and I will be back when it's done. And once it is done, you actually get this screen. It says update completed. Press the X button to restart or cross button. Some people tell me off. They say, um, Tech James, it's cross not x um i don't care but, but just wait for your psp or psb go to restart and now it should actually be good if you guys go ahead and check the system settings so you scroll down you go system settings you scroll down again you go system information you guys can see my infinity is completely gone now we've pretty much got the perfect files for setting up infinity and um, we don't really need this anymore um, I guess you can just delete it if you want to. If you want to go on options and delete, you can actually go ahead and do that. I'll just leave mine here for now. Um, but we've got Pro Update, which is perfect. We've got Fast Recovery. CPIL Flasher, you can actually delete that. That will not work on PSP Go anyway. And we've also got Chrono Switch Downgrader. Um, pretty much the most important one is the Pro Update, which of course you can actually update because if you turn your PSP off, um, this will completely go. So it's basically just temporary custom firmware and it's perfect if you want to play some ISO while you're waiting for it to update so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did actually have a few problems with my psp on this i don't know why um, but after a fact like a factory reset it seemed to be working quite well so let me show you guys how to do that in settings just very quickly it's very simple and i'm sure there's millions of guides online how to factory set your psp but you literally just scroll over all the way to the left system settings now i did two two of them first of all i did restore default settings and then i did um format memory stick and then i did format system storage and that seemed to work perfectly fine also let me just show you my system information there you go that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and um, stay tuned for new psp content definitely my favorite handheld thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one